So we've already talked about uh, collision volumes and how things simulate in all these settings. Uh, there's one more down here, it's max simulation points. Um, remember that if you want larger wrinkles, so let's go in here to BCK for our cloth hook brush and we're going through here. You know, it might be even better. Let's go ahead and go out of edit mode. Let's just grab a brand new plane out of here, drag it on your canvas, go back in edit mode, make poly mesh 3D. Go down here to dynamic, turn off smoothness, turn up thickness, and go ahead and apply that thickness. And then let me go over here. Uh, let's turn off collision volume. Let's turn off gravity. Let's turn off floor collision. Go in here to inflate and just run the simulation here. So now we can turn floor collision back on. We can turn our floor on so we can see it. And now we go in here, let's do brush BTC, brush transpose cloth. And we're back in here and we can like move this around and have it collide with the floor. So right now we're only pulling around like 2,100 points, which is okay. And if we want to, you know, if, if you're like, you know, I, I like these big wrinkles I'm getting, but the result is like kind of uh, faceted. Go in here to geometry, dynamic, and then let's go ahead and turn down thickness. We don't need that anymore. Uh, but what we can do is we can turn up the smooth subdivision, get a preview of what it would look like subdivided with these big, nice primary form wrinkle folds. And let's go ahead and turn on a little bit of self collision so we can have these folds kind of interact with each other. And that's the result we'll get. However, if you want smaller wrinkles, you can hit Control D or you can divide this up here. And now when I go through here, let's go ahead and turn off inflate. And now when I go through here, uh, I'm going to get much, much finer wrinkles, you know, as the cloth interacts with that floor. So now we're up at 34,000 active points. Now we're previewing um, two subdivisions past this. So with dynamic on, or dynamic off, you're going to see this is the actual geometry where we're kind of pushing around. But when we have dynamic on, it's going to give you a preview of a two more smooth subdivide, subdivides after that. So if we hit Q to go into uh, brush mode, let's go B, C, cloth pinch trails, and we start using this one. And it's like, hey, you know what? I may need a little more resolution to get the effect I want. Remember, turning off dynamic, this is what the geometry is actually pulling around. So if you're not getting quite what you need out of this brush, for example, and again, we discuss this brush in more detail in the brush section. What you can do is you can continue subdividing, and you know, we keep subdividing. Now we're at, ha well, now we're at 139. So looking over here at the max simulation points, this is 250,000 max. So it's still gonna work fine. It actually works really fast. And if you want, again, turn on dynamic preview, maybe you just need to do a preview of one now. You get a nice smooth looking result. But if that's still not enough, you can hit Control D to subdivide. Now we're in half a million uh, points. And now we try to run this, it's gonna give you just a bizarre result. Essentially what it's done is turned off uh, like it says right here, skim, simulation skipped. Mesh density is higher than the specified max simulation points. We're at 250 now uh, as a max cap, and now we have uh, 557. Uh, so let's you can turn this up to 600,000 if you want to, and now it'll go ahead and simulate. And as long as your computer can handle it, you know, and we can actually turn on on brush, and that'll even give it a more intensive calculation. It's going to, again, it's calculating half a million points across an entire volume. Uh, this is where you can really tell that on brush really helps. Now so we can go ahead and like fade that mask border a little bit. So it's still pretty responsive, even on half a million. Um, but again, consider if, you know, you really need, let's go in here to brush cloth nudge. Uh, if you're, if, like if you need to simulate these micro folds, maybe you do, and that's fine. And you'll need to go over here uh, and increase your max simulation points. Or if you need to, you know, be at a slightly lower subdivision level here, like say subdivision level four with 139, and then just put a dynamic smooth of one on top of it. So it's really only going to simulate at 139, but a preview of half a million. Uh, of course, your wrinkles aren't going to be as fine. So, you know, maybe that's not going to work for you. You do need to be at the full half a million. You'll just need to up your max simulation points and go through here and, you know, put in all the very fine wrinkles that you might need.